Shalom, beloved. A word. I was reading in the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verses 1 through 3. And the Spirit started giving me revelation that I want to share with you. Shabbat Shalom. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal proceeding out of the throne of God in the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it on, and on either side of the river was there the tree of life which bare 12 manner of fruit and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there was no more curse there, but the throne of Yah and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. No more curse. As we read this, we see that the end of the curses that came upon Yasharel are over. We also see when we look in Psalm 1, he talks about his beloved, those who serve him, and what some of their actions are like. I'm paralleling it to the book of Revelations, chapter 22, verse 1 through 3. And his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper talking about the one that follows Yah. When we look at it in comparison to the book of Revelations, and in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, there was a tree of life, which bare 12 men of a fruit and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nation. There shall be no more curse, but the throne of Yah and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. When we look at what the tree of life symbolizes for his beloved, in Proverbs 11.30 we read, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. When we look at that tree of life in the book of Revelation, that tree shall bear 12 manners of fruit and yield her fruit every month. When we look at his beloved, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. And he that winneth souls is wise. We are comparing them, beloved. We sit in heavenly places with Yahshua. And when we think about it, we being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ unto the glory and praise of Yah, we see that it is comparing the two. When I was reading it, I was looking at something at first, it made me think book of Revelations chapter 22 verses one and through three. I thought of Proverbs one, he shall be like a tree planted by rivers of living water. When we look at that and we see all throughout the Bible, Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 8 through 10. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters that spreadeth out her roots by the river and shall not see when he cometh, but her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither cease from yielding fruit. Yes, 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 when we 
when we look at this, it keeps taking us back to the book of Revelations, beloved. Why? Because we have to think about what we do here on earth is a pattern, a shadow of those things done in the eternal realm. Christ being that tree of light and us being in Christ, we be new creatures. So we too have within us that tree of life. We too yield fruit as the tree of life spoken of in the book of Revelations, chapter 22, verses one through three. When we look again, when he showed us a pure river of life, this pure river of life, I'm in the book of Revelations chapter 22, and I am paralleling those things in the eternal realm with these patterns of things in the earthly realm. We sit in heavenly places with Yeshua HaMashiach. We have been granted to sit with him through our faith and through the love of Yahuwah. I'm trying to find, I know it's in Ephesians. I'm trying to find it, to read it to you, beloved. But when we look at the pattern, we serve unto an example and shadow of heavenly things. It talks about who serves unto an example and shadow of heavenly things as Moses was admonished of God when he was about to make the tabernacle. For see if, saith he, that thou maketh all things according to the pattern shown to thee in the mount. It is a shadow of heavenly things. But we, beloved, when we follow, when we have that fruit of the spirit, we are following the shadow of heavenly things, I am trying to share the epiphany. All things given, all gifts of the spirit are for the building up of the body. So when Yahuwah gives me things other than those things I know he means for me for self, I share it out for the building up of the body because it is never for one, it is for the body beloved. Nothing is done for being vain or puffed up. It is for the building up of the body, the body of who? The body of Christ. Who is Christ? Let's look at that tree of life, beloved. Let's, let's look at the tree of life and the fruits. When John came and was telling the people, John the Baptist, repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. There were Pharisees that gathered around him. And the Sadducees, and they came to be baptized. And he said to them, O generation of vipers, who has warned you to flee from the wrath to come? But bring forth fruits, meat for repentance. Those fruits of the spirit, those fruits of righteousness. But now when we look at, again, the fruit of righteousness is a tree of life. And he that winneth souls is wise. The fruit of righteousness is a tree of life. So if we be in Christ and he be in us and we be new creatures, although we are a pattern and a shadow of those things, from the eternal realm, but we are moving, beloved. We are like trees planted by living waters. Yes, 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 yes. In the last days, that great feast, I'm, I'm beloved, forgive me. I'm, I'm reading from, and I'm moving throughout. This is the book of John chapter seven, starting at the 37th verse. He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Wait a minute. He that believeth on me, this is Yeshua HaMashiach talking. 
out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now, when we go back and we look at book of Revelations chapter 22, and he showed me a pure river of water, of life, living waters. We are in the pattern, the shadow of those things, but we have been given access through Christ to sit in heavenly places below. That is why the revelations come. That is why he's pouring out his spirit. Yes, yes, yes. He that believeth for me, who? Yeshua HaMashiach. As the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. We are seeing the pattern and the shadow of those things on earth that are like unto the eternal things. Why? Because we are with Christ in heavenly places. Wait a minute. It's it's running beside the book of Revelations. Remember, we are like a tree planted by rivers of living water and our leaves shall always be green. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When we read again in the midst of the street of it and on either side of the river was there a tree of life which bare 12 manners of fruit and yielded her fruit every month and the leaves of the tree, the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. I'm going to crisscross. I'm going to bring it as it came to me. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. This is when, when you go to the book of Zechariah below, when we're in the book of Zechariah and Yahuwah has come and taken his beloved, those select, he not only has uh, our flock, there are those others, many call them strangers, another flock has he, but we shall all be one body because we are in Christ and Christ is in us, Yahshua HaMashiach. But we're talking about the healing of the nations, those leaves, the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. I'm in the book of Revelations and I'm moving throughout. Now I'm in the book of Zechariah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see, there's going to come a point where the nations and the kings have to bring, come and pay homage to Yahuwah. They have to come and, and give their what do you call a tribute, if you will? And it is in the time of the booths. And those who don't come up, those who don't come up to the Feast of Tabernacles, there shall be a plague loosed on them. And so shall be the plague of the horse, the mule, the camel, the ass, and all the beasts that shall be in these tents as this plague. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, and keep the Feast of Tabernacles. I am in chapter 14. I'm just moving, beloved. I'm trying to keep my flow. Follow me. And it shall be that whosoever will not come up of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship the king, the, the Lord of hosts, even upon them shall no, be no rain. And if the family of Egypt go not up and come not, there have no rain, there shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite the heathen that come not up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. This shall be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all nations that come not up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. Yes, yes, yes. And in that day, there shall be upon the bells of the horses holiness unto the Lord and the pots of the Lord's house shall be like the bowls before the altar. Yea, every pot in Jerusalem and in, and in Judah shall be holy unto the Lord of hosts. And all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them and see there in the pots. Now, I'm going back to the leaves those leaves for the healing of nations, those that make it to the new Jerusalem. Remember, we shall have no need that any man teach us from the least to the greatest. All shall know the Lord. Our leaves 
The green represents life. It represents fertility. It represents abundance. It appears for nations, it's everlasting life, growth. The green, it symbolizes fruitfulness. Yes, yes, yes. And those leaves for the healing of nations. I'm in, I'm going back, book of Revelation. There will need not be healing for those who are enjoying the presence of the Most High. Because there will be no curse there. Yes, 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 it says it. Okay, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go back to Revelation chapter 21. I'm at the 27th verse. Forgive me. I'm at the 25th verse. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. And there shall in no wise enter in, into it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. But without, when we go further, beloved, when we go further, And we're in the book of Revelations, chapter 22, for without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Yes, yes, yes. That plague, beloved, <coughs> shall be breaking forth like it is in the book of Zechariah. And now it takes us back to the book of Revelations, chapter 22, in the third verse. forgive me, in the second verse. And it talks about the tree of life, which shall bear 12 manners of fruit and yielded her fruit every month and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. But those who are there will not need healing for there will be no curse there, no sickness there. He's giving us the shadow and the pattern of things while encouraging us to follow, to bear fruit now, just as we are part of that tree of life, beloved. Who is, what is the tree of life? You see, when he pours out his spirit, and it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Mm those rivers of living water. That is in our time, beloved. I'm in the book of Joel. He's pouring out. He's pouring out. That's the Holy Spirit, beloved. That's in this world. It is a pattern and a shadow of those things in the eternal realm, showing us what is coming to pass. When we read Proverbs chapter 11, verse 28, it talks about the difference between the wicked and the good. He that trusteth in his riches shall fail, shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch. Remember that olive tree that Yasharel is a part of, the olive tree. Okay, that it talks about in the book of Romans. These trees he is telling us. He is letting us know I am trying to find because I'm going to go back Proverbs. First, I'm sorry, Psalm. First Psalm verses two to three. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water that bringeth forth for his fruit in his season. His leaf shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Yes, beloved, yes, these are those who follow Yahuwah. I am moving throughout, bear with me. 
when we look in the book of John, verse 4, I'm sorry, chapter 4, verse 14, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. It is connecting the pattern and shadow of things here with the eternal of what our father has told us. When I go further in the book of John, I'm back chapter seven, verse 37. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now, we know when we go to 39, but this he spoke of the spirit, mm, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost had not yet been given because that Yeshua had not been yet glorified, but he's been glorified since then, beloved. Mm, he's speaking of the spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. And what is he talking about? Out of our bellies shall flow rivers of living water, beloved. We are in the water. Can you feel it, beloved? Through our praise, through our worship, through our study, serving, study, study, and show thyself approved. Lord, bless this message. Let me give it as I received it. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Yahshua HaMashiach. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Yeshua HaMashiach, Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. I'm just going to move, beloved, because now I'm tying it. But because I'm in Ephesians 2, starting at the fourth verse. But because of his great love for us, Yah, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. And Yah raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in heavenly realms in Yeshua HaMashiach. Wait a minute. Remember the pattern and the shadow of things. It is by grace you have been saved, and Yah raised us up with Yeshua HaMashiach and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Yeshua HaMashiach. Mm, mm, mm. In order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Yeshua HaMashiach, he has taken us and seated us with him in heavenly realms, beloved. You see, the, the closer you get, the closer you get. He opens the eyes of your spirit. He blesses us to be a blessing. Our leaves, we are by rivers of living water, that spirit pouring out. And the fruit of the spirit is with us. Yes, yes, yes. Let me see if I can find it, beloved. I had Galatians. I have so many... Um, things open bear with me but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness temperance against such there is no law we are seated in heavenly places beloved and the fruit of the spirit even the fruit of encouraging one another saving one another repenting of our sins yes 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 for we have all sin, beloved, the fruit of the spirit that our leaves shall be green Woo, by living waters. Don't you see? Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, let me let me move. Let me move. Now, there are those that difference that some people. They trust in their riches. Some people trust in their strength. But there is a difference between those. It doesn't matter whether a person is rich or poor. You are wretched if you are poor in the spirit. Lord, help us all. 
Mm. I'm in Psalms 52, starting at the seventh verse. Lo, this is the man that made not God his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself in his wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of Yah. I trust in the mercy of Yah forever and ever. Yes, beloved, we are like green olive trees in the house of Yahuwah. We sit in heavenly places. When you look at Revelation 22 verses 1 through 3, and I've gotten so much information, it's coming, and I don't want it to get jarbled. Think of Psalm 1. We are seated in heavenly places with them, beloved. In living waters, those living waters being the Holy Spirit, the spirit that was poured out on Yeshua HaMashiach, that he poured out on us, him having the spirit of life, us being in him, we being one. Mm. Ooh. Let me continue because I'm coming to a close, beloved. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the land. And in the midst of the street of it and on either side of the river was there the tree of life, which bare 12 manner of fruits and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nation. When you look and you get to, I believe it's chapter 14 in the book of Zechariah. All those nations that did not come up to pay honor to Yahuwah. That did not come for the feast of tabernacles. They would experience a plague. You see, those whose names were written in the book of life, those who were with him in the holy city, when he comes, that new covenant kicks in. The new covenant where he writes his laws, statutes, and commands in our minds and in our hearts that we have no need of any man teaching us. And according to the book of Revelations, there shall be no more curse. So it cannot be talking about Yashavet. Beloved, it is a word, a word that I wanted to share because it was shared with me through the Spirit. And I will say again, in the book of Hebrews, and I'm at chapter 8, verse 5, who serve unto an example and shadow of heavenly things who serve unto an example and shadow of heavenly things, but we are seated with Christ in heavenly realm. So he's showing us. We are moving through those examples and those patterns as I speak, beloved. Bring forth, therefore, fruits, meat for repentance. Yes, our fruits, the fruit of the spirit that is meat. For repentance, I am in the book of Matthew. I'm just moving, beloved, as I prepare to close. And remember, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. And let this mind be in you, which was also in Yeshua HaMashiach. Mm, mm, mm. Listen, how do we get? the mind of Yahuwah, Yeshua HaMashiach. We give honor, glory, and praise unto Yahuwah, our creator, the creator of all things, and through him no thing that is can be. Without him, nothing can exist. We give all praise, honor, thanksgiving to our Father for everything we have comes from him. We bless him and praise him because instead of justice for our sins of turning away from him, his great and abundant and everlasting mercy is being poured out on us. And he is remembering and honoring his covenant. Now, beloved, now he is pouring out his spirit, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. 
glory, hallelujah, praise him. Yes, yes, yes. But because of his great love for us, Yah, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Yeshua HaMashiach. Even when we were dead in our transgressions, it is by grace you have been saved. And Yah raised us up with Yeshua HaMashiach and seated us with him in the heavenly realm. In Yeshua HaMashiach. That's the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 4 through 7. Beloved, be encouraged. We are like trees planted by rivers of living water. Glory, hallelujah, all praise, thanksgiving, and honor. And to the Most High, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, thou art one, and we are one in thee. Glory, hallelujah. Shabbat shalom, beloved. It is a word. Shalom.